I may as well introduce to you first the gentleman who very likely will win today's match, although he lost two years ago. I'd like to present to you that gigantic titan of toppling the ten pins, that magnificent master at mauling the maples from Hollywood, California, Mr. Jerry 300 Lewis. Thank you, Sam. Oh, I'm indeed you. proud to be here, and unfortunately, you didn't announce in the introduction that I lost last year due to a terrible hangnail. <laughs> and of course, the 300 represents 300 minutes to bowl 10 frames. Oh, <laughs> leave him see that precious shirt, oh, yes. Jerry. Yes, indeed. Jerry 300 this Lewis. This was made to order for me by an Afghanistan troop that's living in uh, Cicero. <laughs> Chair boy, come here. We, we've got to find out now all about this. What? You've had this boy worried, and uh, oh, frankly, Paul? what I'd like to know is whether you've been at all worried about this match. You know, Paul, just uh, three weeks ago, rolled a perfect 300 game as fifth in sanctioned competition. Well, uh, if he wants to cheat, that's his business. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to play the best I can. I'm not worried about Paul. I'm not worried at all. As long as I can get close enough to fog his glasses, I'll be all right. Well, does this worry, uh, Jerry, the fact that he's only one of the three, the only three bowlers in the history of the game to have won all three national match game titles? Does that bother me? Mm -hmm. If I knew what it meant, maybe, but... <laughs> I'm not terribly concerned, and if you're looking to distru distress me or make me nervous, you, you, you have no chance. I'm very, very confident, and I'm sure that I'm going to win, and I would like the money now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Chicago's greatest bowler of the first half century, Mr. Paul Krumsky. <laughs> oh, glad to see you. <laughs> Is that my opponent? You know very well he's your opponent. You've been so worried. You've been practicing here. You're not kidding anybody. Well, Paul, the prize money today, of course, you're... You're donating your services since this is strictly for Muscular Dystrophy Association. Of course, we have to pay a bowler of Jerry's stature. And so for you, Jerry, a dollar a pin for Muscular Dystrophy Association, which happens to be They the should favorite. get 30 cents. <laughs> the favorite dollar of all... Dollar a pin is all I'm getting? Dollar a pin for every pin you knock over for Muscular Dystrophy, which is, of course, the favorite of all your many, many charities. But how, can I use my feet at any time to knock them over? <laughs> That reminds me, Jerry, when you met this guy two years ago, and of course he's known throughout bowling, coast to coast, bar to border, as the most serious bowler in the world. And Absolutely. here's, of course, Jerry Lewis. Bowling and we understand, of course, too, that Paul doesn't like noise when he bowls, because yes. championship bowlers do like it quiet. And, of course, I asked him before to burp that child. That's not going to bother you, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but I would like you to understand that I do have a cough. Oh, you do? Yes. Well, now, I don't know when it'll come on. <laughs> I sneeze a great deal and stamp my foot when I cough, you see. You're nervous, right? Yes, I'm a nervous wreck, and I'll take good care of you also. <laughs> <laughs> but, Jerry, one of the precious remarks, though, was two years ago. You said you had no objection to Paul saying keep it quiet when, when he said to you, don't breathe, you really got mad. I didn't get mad. He wanted I shouldn't breathe for an hour and 14 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gentlemen ready? Yeah. yeah. Right. Good, luck, good luck, Paul. Good luck, Jerry. You dirty <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> you want to go first, Paul? All right. Go ahead. I think that you're a top because you are a champ at skating. How did you <laughs> And there he goes. Not a bad hit. A little high, a little high in the three. Too seconds. bad, baby. Too bad. <laughs> Just have three. to practice a little, that's all. <laughs> Tough game. Three, six, ten left for the old professor. Stay away from the left. There are kids there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> And they're all down for a spare, and now it's up to Jerry, 300 Lewis. Try to match that spare. I gotta go to the bathroom.
Oh! Oh! Oh, Paul. You're in trouble, kid. Oh, just a little bit light. <laughs> oh, chair. He's trying to make it easy on you, Paul. I can see that. He's just getting out that alley. Bit over here is an hour. Oh, come on, chair boy. Mow him down. Hold it. Oh, he got too hard. Pretty hard there, didn't he? All right, chairs open in the second frame now. But it's up to Paul. <laughs> Who's winning? <laughs> oh, a little high. A little high. Oh, somebody's cheating down there. That was a high hit, Paul. Ha, 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 ha. I know that type. <laughs> Try and keep your head down this time, Paul. <laughs> Paul, you know... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, this is precious. Did it throw him at all, do you think? <laughs> I'm sorry, Paul. I'll discuss it with you after you blow this shot. <laughs> Too many pins for that kind of a light hit, Paul. Well, no, I think it was all right. Was it? Yeah. yeah, it was all right. I think it's the jockey shorts that are throwing them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <On the button>. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's Jer doing there? Jer is down 12 sticks. Not bad, Jerry. You can do that with a strike here. I've been practicing. I've been at the roller derby Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> What's the odds on another strike, Mr. Drumstein? Well, Even. Bet. 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 Bet.
He made it to give him 80 in the fourth and a spare. And Jerry, 48 in the third and a spare. And Jerry, still 12 pins down, but he can start moving here. He's had two strikes, remember, first and third frames. Let's watch him. All right, nice oh, almost Jerry. another Brooklyn there. Nice count. His friend is in two. Ball bounces, I guess. <laughs> the three, five, six for Jerry, three hundred Lewis. Pick up. Oh! <laughs> Go ahead, Jer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jer. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. The kid is trying. One three up for Jerry. Three hundred Lewis. <laughs> Jerry, 27 pins down, a chance now to go down still further, unless he can pick these up, and maybe he will, the one three. Oh, he's got him. Oh, beautifully oh. done, Jer, beautifully done. Who hits him better? Who hits him better? Yes, sir, Jerry. Money so bends down. I get some water here. Go ahead, Paul. Oh, he buried that. Oh, he buried that one, Jerry. You're pretty oh. cocky about the whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> well, you're a show-off. How do you like that? <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> How do these kids get so drunk in the afternoon? <gasps> oh. Krumsky, 105th and two spikes out in front. Poor Jerry's oh. got to get going now. <laughs> oh, hit the head oh. Hey, he was, he was on the one-three side that time, Paul. He could do something here. Not only that, and see the action he's getting. What action off that ball? Yes, sir. Very good action. <laughs> My thumb is in it again. <laughs> Just 37 pins. Hit it. A little too far there. Well, Jerry has a chance here. <laughs> what do you say? Speeding time. What? Speeding time. Speeding time. Oh, speeding time. Oh, Paul, it looks good. It looks... Oh! Where's Charlie Cavetti? You got robbed on that, Jerry. That should have been a spare. See Charlie there. Oh, 
Oh, that's the right. <laughs> Put ten of those kids up. I'll show you a strike. <laughs> Paul Krumsky with a double. Where do you see, sir? <laughs> <laughs> ah, precious. <laughs> Force yourself, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Three strikes in a row for Paul. 130 in the sixth, and a double out in front. Oh, Paul, you shouldn't get credit for that. Jerry helped you on that shot. I almost caught it. I was just going to get it. <laughs> Jerry, maybe you'd like to get up close range and uh, no, watch no, this thing. No, no, this is fine. All right. You don't want to pick up a tip or two, you know? No, I'm watching Paul. <laughs> There's no question about it. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I gotta go along with you on that. <laughs> oh, that's tough, honey. <laughs> Too bad, Paul. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> you got that nitro? You got the nitro on the ball on the ninth frame? Remember the nitro? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a little too high <laughs> to miss it. Well, Paul, 179 to the eighth. Spare, and here's Jerry, open in the eighth. 168 again. Jerry's got to get going here. Hold it, Jerry! Oh, that's not fair. Jerry has a bet with Jack Keller, his public relations man, and deliberately he's trying to sabotage him. Not fair, Jack. All right, throw it. Get a strike, Jack, get a strike. He would have had it. He would have had that strike. Oh. If I try, what am I shooting for? Try. Come on, Jer, show him how, boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jerry, open again in the ninth. Jerry, boy, you can strike out now and get 155 and beat Mr. Jackson Keller. Strike out all the way? All the way. At least two strikes and you're in the 150 somewhere and you've got the boy lit. Any alley all right with you, Paul? Sure, anyone. Anyone? Fine. Shoot this over again. That wasn't God, it was fair. A noise, that no, we want to shoot. Noise. It was unfair. Right. Let's shoot the tenth frame again. I think it's only fair to do it over. I do too. I'll agree with it. Jack oh, Keller, notwithstanding. Say nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Let's oh, take like the tenth again. Straight ahead. I lost the match. Okay. Still loud. <laughs> Am I through? Oh, 131. I'm Jerry. through. Well, Is it over? <laughs> he wrote too fast. <laughs> he didn't do so beautifully, this big shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. He'll get away from the 810, and he's going to shoot 200 and something, Jack. He is not. Yeah, it's 198. It in the ninth. He needs two pins. There's only one standing. <laughs> About 218 with a strike. I think he's showing off. 
Either that, Jerry, or you took it easy on him. Got two beautiful strikes, though, Jerry. That's all I had was two strikes? <laughs> well, I'm a union man, you know. <laughs> Good, Paul. Oh, well, all right, 217, that's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I have a request. Let me have the apple. Wait, Chair, I don't think we're Not yet? Here. When that red thing goes Oh, on, when right? the red thing, yes. All right. What are they doing back there, developing it? <laughs> Well, that was some match, Paul. Uh, of course, you've donated your services very kindly. I don't think we have any prize money for you. Jerry, would you have something for Paul? Yes, he's a bowling queen. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going uh, out together tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Paul. You really bowl beautifully. Uh, thank you, Jerry. You beautifully. I think you have a tremendous future. Unfortunately, I don't think it's in this business, but I think that definitely <laughs> you should take up hockey. <laughs> Paul, Chicago's greatest bowler of the first half century. Let's hear it for him. Thank oh, you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Jerry, even though you didn't uh, bowl over 131, we all here, I'm sure, agree that you have scored a 300 game for <clears throat> one of your favorite charities, the Muscular Dystrophy Association. And so here is your check. One dollar a pin, 300 pins for $300. Thank you very, very much. That's very nice of you, Sam. And Jerry. I appreciate it. As you know, the management here at Strike and Spare have been selling seats, donations to muscular dystrophy for the last 10 days. Here are some of the checks. There will be a few thousand dollars involved there for seats. There have been eight volunteers here from the Muscular Dystrophy Association who are going through the standing room crowd. That ought to add some more money to the fund for muscular dystrophy. Well, that's beautiful. That's and wonderful. in that con connection, uh, Jerry, I'd like to mention that the management here at Strike and Spare, as you <coughs> know, has spared no energy or effort or expense. I'd like to credit in your presence Charlie and Mary Cravetti and Art Bernardi and Dick Zacharias and Charlie Lubin, Jerry Price, Nate Pollock, Mel Glass, Jim Zacharias, and all the wonderful help here at Strike and Spare Bowling Lanes. I'd like to thank the wait, Douglas... Wait, 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 wait. We're One still second. on the air here, folks. If you would, please, for you rush to Jerry for those autographs. To Fred and Doug Raymond and Arch Jones of Douglas Productions and their wonderful crew, Chuck Temkin and Shelley Pollock and Don Cole and Ray Olson, the film will be available through the Muscular Dystrophy Association offices. There's 70 of them. Universal Bowling and Golf, of course, are contributing the film as our donation to MDA. Jerry, would you like to tell us, please, where yeah. the folks might address a contribution to Jerry Lewis in Hollywood? I would like... Very... Shh! Wait, wait, children, please. This is most important. I would like to first, of course, thank Sam Weinstein and the entire Universal Company, and, of course, Strike and Spare, and all the wonderful people <coughs> who were involved in our film this afternoon here in Chicago, and I thank, of course, the Chez Paris, but I would like mostly to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the contributions that have been made to muscular dystrophy. And uh, I think the best way that I can uh, tell you how very, very much it means to me is that there are 135,000 children who will benefit by these checks and by your contributions. And if you, ladies and gentlemen, watching the show at any time feel so inclined, we can, of course, use anything, anything, a penny, a nickel, a dime, whatever you'd like to send, and if you will send it to me, Jerry Lewis, box office, post office box 950, Hollywood 28, California. That's post office box 950, Hollywood 28, California. It would certainly be appreciated because we have had a fantastic amount of pennies, nickels, and dimes that have gone into dollars so that we can one day dread, this dread disease will be off the face of the earth, we hope. So I thank you all. You are a very wonderful audience. So next time I bowl, I'll practice more. Thank you, Sam. Sure, would you be with me, please? One more amount. We're not through yet, folks. Oh, oh, Joe Kissel, back, would you back, give me that back, plaque, please? Aha! Uh -huh. Back, back, back. Well, we have one more.